Hello, welcome to Tableau Server demo session. I come with uh, 10 plus years of experience in into the business intelligence and where and with Tableau as a whole, around seven plus years of experience, both into Tableau development, Tableau server administration, and even into the Tableau architecture. Okay, so as part of the Tableau server a training program. This is the course curriculum. For the first few sessions, we'll be talking about the Tableau products, right? The, the Tableau various products, followed by the readiness and the you know, readiness and the prerequisites that we need before you proceed to install. And just to kind of get you the glimpse, we have a single node architecture already ready for the, the current training program which we're going on. So if we can look into this one. So we already installed on the machine the tableau server training program involves the most of things are hands-on experience right you will be uh, given access to the machine where you will practice our day-to-day activities as part of the training program so here you can see already the system is up and running uh, this one we call it as the uh, configurations for the tableau services manager that right? you have with the various processes over here and if these individual processes are provided the status of this. And this one, it's all about your administration. So today, yeah, you want to add some users, like you should click on add users, and then you start adding the users. And then do you want any of the groups? You don't have yet as of now, because this is, you just started with the new batch. And then if for any of the background jobs, how do you, you know, we have all these things. So we'll be discussing about in detail of each and every step, which is being outlined as part of the course curriculum. For the first few sessions, we'll also discuss in the in terms of uh, you know the prerequisite, the technical specification, as well as uh, the complete architecture. Just an overview of an architecture. So we'll be using the local authentication uh, because as we do not have the Active Directory mechanism. But the flow, how does the flow looks like? Assume that I am the end user and then I try to access a report on my web browser. You simply go to your Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or IE, and then you put the dashboard URL, how does the mechanism works. So for example, I'm the client, and then you put that URL into your, uh, on the browser, and then you hit enter. The first request goes to your gateway. Gateway is the one where the request and you know, the response, it will handle the user request. The gateway will forward that request to your application server. So we'll be discussing in detail about what are the different processes or the services that Tableau has and how does all of these work together to complete the job. Here for instance, how does it work? So the gateway will send the request to your application server and then the application server will forward that request to your repository to verify if that user is there or not. And then the repository will verify the username exists. And it will also gather your additional, you know, the permissions for your, you know, for you to view that report. Can you only view the report or can I go ahead and interact with that report? So this permissions it will check and it will send the response back to your application server. So right now what we are looking is how does an authentication mechanism works in the active directory. So once the application server receives the response from the repository, the application server will register this positive response and then it will forward the request back to your gateway. This gateway receives the request and it will forward back to your active directory controller. Actual authentication is being done by your active directory. Right, because Active Directory will store your, you have your username and password here. So this will verify the password and passes the response back to your gateway. Then the gateway receives the request and this passes the response back to your application server. Now it will register the positive response and it will start to generating that user interface where you will be able to view the dashboard. So this application server will start rendering the dashboard and it will also forward the request back to gateway. And then the gateway internally forward the request back to the client and the client will be able to view the visualization. This is basically an internal process. How does it look like? So when you, when we, okay, when you have this pictorial, you know, the representation, the understanding will be much easier. That's one of the reason why we have this detailed level of steps is also been outlined here, right? We'll be discussing that in detail. So if I go back to the, the uh, course curriculum again, so it's going to be a single node installation. So we'll be discussing in depth in terms of the configurations, in terms of the topology setting, the business terminology that's been used in the in the in the Tableau server, and we'll also talk about a different kind of authentication mechanisms. Though we might not be able to have an hands-on experience with multiple authentication mechanisms, we will be using the, the local authentication mechanism. But we'll be talking about other multi uh, other 
authentication mechanisms and how do we like to have an opportunity to combine them or so what is the compatibility uh, metrics will be discussing that in term, in detail in terms of your authentications from here in terms of the user experience and authorization this is all uh, related to your actual tableau administration so we're talking about uh, different kinds of the user roles what are the different users can i have in like for example if i go and check the site role uh, he is the site administrator basically or uh, you know he is the server administrator who who can who have access to anything and everything within this box because he is a server then you also have other roles you can see it here the creator explorer can publish explorer viewer and like this. so we'll be discussing about different user roles and what are the capabilities right how does this permission as well as this user site role will work together to get the job done in detail about all of this so there we talk about you know the the user management the groups management the content management when you go to explorer you will see the different kind of the project within your within your site the site basically means a folder structure or your workspace your application specific workspace we call it as a site level and if you have you can always go and create a new project if you want to so this is all about talks about sales project this is my team called sales i'll go ahead and create the sales project and then i would ask my developer to go ahead and publish all the sales related content to this particular folder and then you can have even the nested folders also this is like a site level content we will be discussing in detail of all this and we will be discussing even at, at a minimal level of the tableau desktop also because you need a tableau desktop while publishing the content right from your tableau desktop to your tableau server so tableau server basically is for your collaboration you cannot ask your end users to install uh, you know the tableau desktop or a tableau reader tool basically the end users all the need is a simple url of the dashboard where they will be able to view the reports so this is the tableau desktop so this is also will be using so you go to server and then you say we all the sign into the server how do i publish say for example i'm trying to publish the workbook a sample example this is how a developer go ahead and based on his access so right now you know the one that we created the sales project right i'm Choosing the sales project, and then I'm going to say simple name sales report. Just say sales dashboard, and then I'll say go ahead and publish. This is one way, simple way. You know, how do you publish the content from your tablet desktop to your tablet server? So once the content publish, you know, successfully, you will see the, you know the browser will start loading on its own, and it will give you a prompt saying that the content has been successfully published. While this is loading, I can always go back to my page, right? I don't have to wait there. I can go back to sales, and you will see right now we don't. It's showing as workbook zero. The moment this will get published, you will see workbook one. Or I can simply go ahead and refresh it. Okay. So once the content updates. You will see that about book one, and you will start, and then the end user starting. Now you can see it's already been published. If I go back to this one, you can see it's already start loading it. Right? Sales dash. You can see the publishing complete. Uh, the workbook. What's the workbook name? Sales dashboard. And then you also have the preview. Layer. I'll just close this. Either I can open from here, or just or to navigate to same project, sales project. I have one workbook which I just published. So the work will be in this. And this symbol has been identified like this. You can see when this has been modified. It's been today. Let's go open the sales dashboard. So we'll be talking about also what is the sheet level and the dashboard in uh, okay when we are during publishing the font. So this is just a some you know a, a sample sheet, but the discussion is more on you know how do you uh, publish from your Tableau desktop to your Tableau server, and once you publish um. Now I need to, you know, to manage the content, right? Now I may have different groups, and I may have to provide access to different groups. I may have to deny an access to different groups. Okay, what are the permission level settings I may be having? Right, those things we'll be discussing in detail, as well as we'll be going with through the practical session, right? We'll take the multiple user accounts. See, right now this is the dash, so it doesn't have any filters because I haven't enabled anything. But if you look at the sales dashboard permission session example, right? You can see for all the users, this is a group. They can view, they can filter, they can do everything. If you want to add a new group, how do you add a new group? And then I don't want a specific group to be able to download my dashboard, right? I I don't want to delete them. Then how do I set those permissions? 
will be discussing that in detail as part of the content management. So that so that comes in here in terms of authorization, you know, in terms of the uh, permission tools and capabilities, the, the groups, everything. And and the dispose content is taken directly from the Tableau official website itself, right? And this is being arranged such a way that it's not just for a newbies or for intermediates. It is being even if you have any prior experience or if you have interest to learn in the journey. Tableau Server Training Program. This is like a fresh start for even for freshers, it's for intermediate and even you know who has been already been working for the last couple of months, but if they wanted to have a detailed understanding and more hands-on practice, they should be able to, to leverage this training program. And then the next part is talks about in terms of your data refreshes, right? You may be having a lot of data. How do we schedule them? How do we refresh them? And then the subscriptions you want. Uh, let's say you know I have some of the, I have a group of my managers. They need this report every Monday morning 9 a.m. How do I subscribe my users to them? Right? Those things we'll be talking about that. And then your data and IT data refreshes. And as it's a server program, we'll be discussing more in terms of um, high availability concepts. Also, how do you take backup? How do you restore data? And then how do you take the logs? How do you work with the, uh, you know, your, um, Tableau support? So this was talks about all those things. And even we can also, we'll also talk about in terms of upgrade, right? Upgrade, preparing for your upgrade. Also, as part of the training program, we will upgrade this this entire server to a newer version and then we'll also talk about in terms of the logs right okay where are my logs have been stored how do i look for logs in terms of the a troubleshooting as i said i you know the most of my experience comes directly from the industry so we'll be discussing in detail that's one of the reason why we have to figure that this part this was not there actually from, on the tableau site but this is being put together so we can have a quick troubleshooting step if this happens that's what needs to be done something like that in terms of okay during your tableau server installation fails okay what are the things that i can at least at high level, I can look. Okay, whenever my authentication is here, okay, whenever your the user says, hey, I cannot access a report or I cannot view this particular dashboard, okay, what do I need to look for? And some of the prerequisites for is you need, you need to install the, the database drivers. If you don't, if you don't install the database drivers on the box, right, where your Tableau server has been installed, then like then your your users will not be able to connect to the data sources. So anything associated those uh, troubleshooting steps. In terms of the backup issues, right? And in terms of restore issues, it could relate to your disk space, right? How much amount of disk space I may need. And, and even to keep my overall system up and running, what is my minimum system requirement and how much CPU RAM I should be having for a production platform and anything related to the log also. So this is, as you can say, complete, you know, the server training program has been put together. The overall training program would be around 25 to 30 hours. From day two or day three, we will be logging into the machine and you will be provided an access to this machine and um, we should be able to start uh, you know the practicing what as for the course training program okay so we will also i mean i'm sure so once we complete this course training program this will give you strong knowledge in terms of uh, the overall tableau server so this will help you for your certification also uh, the the certification uh, questions are quite tricky but uh, the foundation for uh, every topic we will be discussing in detail we'll also discuss at high level some of the certification dumps that we might be having uh, specific to the top so this will help for your certification and the overall uh, in you know the practical organization wise uh, you know the activities that we perform day-to-day -day basis on the tablet server prerequisites for this training program so any prior um, administration work it doesn't have to be uh, specific to a tool but any even the prior system administration of your windows uh, some understanding of you know the users groups the permissions or setup something like that anything on those lines would be an added advantage if you have already prior experience on any of the BI tools, uh, it could be even the development or it could be related to your administration, anything, right? any of the BI tools. Just to mention, maybe it could be your SAP business object or maybe Cognos uh, or maybe OBI, whatever it, that tool is, or maybe in terms of Informatica or any other tools. And if you have an opportunity where you, know, you wanted to leverage yourself, uh, into the Tableau server administration, so this training program will definitely help. Okay, for any questions and for other future things, you can always contact Mind Magics. Okay, thank you so much.